What is going on guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today I got a restaurant vlog for you. It's not just any restaurant. We are at the oldest restaurant in the world in continuous operation per the world uh, Guinness Book of Records. So we're gonna go in here. Uh, it is located in Madrid, Spain. In the heart of Madrid, right off the Plaza Mayor, located on Cuchillero Street, is the world-renowned Sobrino de Botín, also known as Casa Botín. Upon arriving, we were greeted, and once our reservation was confirmed, we were promptly seated. Wow, this is so cool. Check it out. All right, guys, so we are at Restaurante Botín, Sobrino de Botín. And uh, this is in the world's oldest continuous operating restaurant, according to the World Book of Guinness, or World Guinness Book of Records, sorry. <laughs> Dating back all the way to 1725, I believe. But the place has been here way before that, since 1590. And basically this was originally by, owned by a Frenchman named Jean Boutin. Uh, after he passed away, the nephew took over and named it Sobrino de Botín, so the nephew of Botín, that's where the name comes from. We are actually sitting and dining down in the bodega, which is the old wine cellar part of the restaurant, and it's the oldest part of the restaurant. It has four floors, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this nice restaurant. I'm going to show you guys the wine cellar area down here. Check this out. So cool. This is full on old school here. What an experience. It's really, really cool how they preserved it. And they have this down here. Yeah, they actually have wine bottles down here. Check this out. Old wine bottles. So, like I said, we're at the very bottom of the wine cellar area, and I'll show you guys a little bit of upstairs. Pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs, and let me just show you a little bit of upstairs. It's four floors, I'm not gonna go all four. I just wanted to show you a little bit. The wood ceiling beams throughout the restaurant, along with a variety of old paintings and plaques on the walls, really add to the old tavern ambiance. So this is where all the magic happens. Here's the oven. El Horno's here. So check it out, there's all the pigs there. This is where they make all the meat and roast, everything in there. This is the original wood-burning oven that is as old as the restaurant itself. They've maintained the original look too, with the ceramic tiles all over it. But the amazing thing about this oven is that it's been burning continuously for 297 years. That's pretty insane. And one of the chefs there explained to me that they're using the original recipes that have been passed down from generation to generation. I then went downstairs to look at the menu and place my order. The menu is available in Spanish and English, and as soon as I sat down, our server introduced himself and went over the menu, pointed out their specialties, and gave us his recommendations. He took really good care of us and was extremely professional. Try the sangria. For the, for the wine, this color is very... That is good, it's it's lovely, lovely, lovely is the word. Love the little, we ordered half a pitcher. Check out the pitcher. Sangria is really excellent. We only order half a pitcher, but I think by the likes of it, we may order another half. Or I'm really enjoying this. We decided to try a few of their dishes. We started off with the ensalada botin, which consisted of mixed greens, tomatoes, olives, asparagus, boiled eggs, chicken, Iberian ham, and a very light olive oil and vinegar dressing. Julie ordered the caldo de ave or a chicken consomme. 
I'm actually allergic to shrimp, but these are the gambas al ajillo that they're having. Enjoy. The gambas, um, unfortunately I couldn't eat that, but they loved it. Said it was really great. Probably it's my wife's favorite dish so far. Up next was the cochinillo asado, which is a serving for one person. We opted for this one because we were sharing dishes, but they do serve the entire suckling pig, which serves up to six people. So that is some good pork, guys. It's very tender. And by the way, it's called cochinillo. That translates to suckling pork or suckling pig. Very tender, not over seasoned. Tastes great. Very, very, very pleased with it. All right, so here is our final dish, solomillo a la plancha. And it's really bloody, man. I didn't know we were going to get it like this. I'm not. Um, I don't like it rare, but hey. Here goes nothing. Let's try it. Yeah. What? Here we go. <laughs> All the juices. Fantastic flavor, honestly. Delicious. I think I'm going to start eating rare now. <laughs> Just depends on the place you go to. Mm. They know what they're doing here for sure. Mm, mm, mm. We ended our meal with dessert with the mascarpone con mango and the tarta botin. Both were recommended to us by Luis, our server, and both were amazing. Okay, guys, the mascarpone with the ice cream and the mango is. Oh my god, it's so good. Let me try the cake. The restaurant uh, experience here at El Sobrino de Botín was absolutely amazing. The service was fantastic and it lived up to the hype. It is located right outside the Plaza Mayor, which is full of tourist traps. But I must say that they are not a tourist trap. They really uh, take care of you and it was just great. The, the food was great, the, the drinks, everything. The dessert was mind blowing. So make sure when you come, I recommend you guys sit downstairs in the bodega, the wine cellar area. That's just, to me, this is a little bit nicer, more quaint than sitting upstairs. Again, remember it has four floors. Make your reservation online. It was a easy process. They even text you back to make sure that you're gonna, you know, to confirm that you're coming. And uh, so check them out online. I'll link it here so you guys can visit them. This is not being sponsored or anything. I'm just honestly very pleased with the service there and the food. So that's gonna do it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.